What's going on, y'all? Today we got Cameron the Rent doesn't deserve this. If you know, you know. Let's Teams get into in it. the wide open Probably West. Seen well, the West just got the a title. new super team: Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Chris Paul, and DeAndre Ayton. Like, come on, man! Damn, was looking good for the Lakers. Now we got to go through these guys. And Suns fans don't even have to buy a new jersey; they can just change their Dragon Bender one. And he's number thirty-five. This is perfect. Phoenix easily won this trade by not having to give up Book, DeAndre Ayton, or CP3. All these teams setting up their roster, now they have to guard KD. LeBron James just went from, yay, we traded Russ, to, no, we don't have a chance. I did too, man. What even the if the Suns don't get a chip this year, they've got Kevin Durant for three more seasons. I know we said that about the Nets a few years ago. That didn't work out. But the Suns already have a culture. And KD's not going to mess this one up. He's not going to create his own team, hire his own coach, take over the front office. They already have a system, and this could be the Warriors all over again. But before we get into what this means for championships, KD is so lucky. He burned the Nets to the ground with a toxic culture, but just gets bailed out because some 43-year-old billionaire takes over the Suns. This dude, Matt Ishiba, literally took control of KD's preferred team 24 hours before. And he tells the front office, do whatever it takes. Well, people were offering two first round picks for KD. No, the Suns gave up four first round picks and a pick swap, uh. plus Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, and Jay Crowder for KD and TJ Warren. Durant should have had to sit there in the mess he created after his best friend Kyrie left, but he just gets bailed out by a new owner. And the craziest part, this wasn't even supposed to happen. When the Nets traded Kyrie, they got pieces to fit around Kevin Durant. That's what the Mavericks deal was all about. Then the day after, stories come out. The Nets are having tough conversations about their future with Kevin Durant. Stephen A. Smith says that he thinks KD is on the move. So other teams hear that and they start calling. But just one team is what KD wanted, the Suns. So they got on the phone with the new owner and forced the deal. Didn't want to wait till the morning. Had to do it at like 1 a.m. It was a one-team negotiation. The Nets could have gotten a lot more if they open this up to the rest of the league but i am glad that they did it just got it over with what were they gonna make the play in make the first round then all the kd rumors pop up again they just got this whole kd Kyrie mess behind them it was a nightmare for that organization. All they had to give up, yes, was cap space, but they became the most miserable team in the league. Now, at least they have something to build with. They got rid of every pick to get James Harden, but now they have control of seven firsts from other teams and a bunch of good young players and Ben Simmons. They will get back to that fun young team before KD and Kyrie got there. But what happens now that KD is on the Suns? Three years ago, we couldn't even believe Phoenix went 8-0 in the bubble and missed the playoffs. Then they traded for Chris Paul, who was awesome on the Thunder. CP3 unlocked DeAndre Ayton, and Devin Booker's awesome talent was finally paying off. They went all the way to the finals, were up 2-0 before the Bucks came back to win. Last year, they were so good, nobody had a better record in the West. Then Luka single-handedly crushed their soul. The Mavericks beat them by 33 in Game 7, and it looked like the window slammed shut. But now they get a top three player, top 20 all time. Exactly what they were missing to beat Giannis in 2021. The ultimate closer to deliver a championship. Now, instead of wide open, the West is stacked. The best one two combos in the West in order Step and Clay, LeBron and AD, KD and Book. Kawhi and PG, Luka and Kyrie, all in one conference. Now, I think that Steph and Clay yeah, still the West deserve to be number one out. because on, they are the reigning champs. LeBron and AD on, have proven that they can win together. Then KD and Book, ahead of Kawhi, PG, and Luka and Kyrie, because KD is a two-time finals MVP. He's on a team that just made the finals two years ago. But there are three serious problems with the Suns. It's not all good. The first thing is health. 
KD won't play until after the All-Star break. Devin Booker is one hamstring tweak away from being out several weeks. The second problem is Chris Paul. I hate to say it, but dude is 37 years old and yes, has a history of melting down in the playoffs. He's been to the postseason 17 times, made the finals once, and has the record for most blown 2-0 leads. And it's not even close. It's such a problem, the Suns were willing to trade him for Kyrie this week. CP3 said, oh, it's just a business. But that shows how worried Phoenix actually is. All he has to do now is just run the offense, play a little D, hit some open shots. He doesn't have to be a hero, but you know his history will be in the back of everyone's minds this postseason. The other issue is depth. These are the starters and the bench players. You see any names you really like off the bench? Uh, Who's yeah, the fifth that's, what, that's what we need. I, I like okay, that, I'm though. Go with you know, that's what I like to see. I like to see trash off the bench, man. So my Lakers got a chance. You know what I'm saying? I need Braun. You know what I'm saying? They just got a few new pieces. A few new pieces and all that. You know what I'm saying? I need these guys to not come in. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I need Brian to Like, the chip. Tory Craig, maybe TJ the Warren. They're going to have to get on, huge games out of them. Or Landry Shamit, Cam yeah, Payne. They, those not, those, there are only saying? moments those in the, the guys playoffs gonna get where it done. the other guys not gonna get make done. a big play. Brian and I'm, gonna I'm not sure the Suns have Maybe. that. Forget Maybe. about a big injury. Phoenix is so thin, they can't afford one issue, which is horrible when KD, CP3, and now Book have a history of going down. So those are the three <laughs> big not, issues. No, I'm and not praying for no injuries, though. We don't want to see nobody team, injured, my brothers and sisters. That's so not it. It will look bad for KD, no, because this was his preferred destination. And shit, but... His first dumb decision well, was to leave win. Steph in they the first it place. He was set up to win Earth. more championships. Then, with all the stars he could have paired up with in 2019, you know, Kawhi or Paul George, even LeBron maybe, he chose Kyrie Irving and James Harden. Now imagine if he handpicks the Suns and they implode. But what if they win? Not only does it make KD a champ with two different teams, but Chris Paul can win a ring. This will be such a huge playoff run to watch. How much fun would a Suns-Mavs rematch be now? Kyrie and Luka against KD and Devin Booker? It all hinges on everyone staying healthy in the playoffs. I am going to call this, yes, the greatest trade deadline ever. Normally, the deadline does not have a big effect on the NBA championship. One of the few examples is the Rockets getting Clyde Drexler in 1995. Outside of that, it's usually just hype. But now, we have the Lakers getting rid of Russ, adding three good players, the Mavericks getting Kyrie, the Suns getting KD, and whatever else happens. The favorite still is the Boston Celtics to win the title. But the Suns are number two. This isn't just about the West. This puts Giannis in danger of only winning one chip in Milwaukee. The Nuggets had a great season, but now they have to deal with a super team. But I still love what the Lakers did. They finally fixed the Russell Westbrook mistake. It was huge to add depth. But what happens to Russ now? I reacted to the trade right after it happened and explained where Russ could play next because the craziest thing actually is. And that's the end of this one, y'all. Me, Brian, and them to go crazy. Do their thing. If y'all enjoyed this one, make sure you click on the last reaction. I'm out of here, man.